Hello, welcome to a new repair odyssey. We have made in repair. Not often, but sometimes we get made in repair. There should be a laptop inside a Huawei, which doesn't charge or does not turn on. So let's unbox that, see what the problem is, and if we can repair it. Let's just connect the charger and see what's happening. Okay, turns on and off and on and off. Well, definitely very okay. I think we know what the problem is. A little bit of soldering and the port should be fine again. Okay. So, what we got here, I'm kind of a little blind today, my eyes are dried out, never forget to drink a lot of water, 80% of the body is made of water. <clears throat> One more. Okay, charging port is here. Mm. One screw missing, another screw missing, so... Interesting, a lot of screws are missing, so someone already have looked inside, someone disconnected the charger. Okay, they probably disconnected the charger. But I do not need to connect it because I think I already know what the problem is. Battery is disconnected. Let's disconnect the LCD connector. Mm, doesn't look too healthy. That should be okay. Hard drive is not here. So they did put it out. I'm okay with that. And I think we have to get out the whole board to get access to the charging port. So, fan has to be disconnected. Here we have a screw and also the cooling stuff. Fan, two screws. Um, you're probably interested in the model. I don't know it, but I'm gonna put it in the description. So we should be able to lift this up now. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can lift this up without taking out the fan. But as the board needs to come out, we surely have to... ...disconnect. Mm-hmm. So next thing is disconnect all FPC connectors. A lot of small stuff here. Come on. Almost like a MacBook. This is almost like a MacBook. Yes, yes, yes. OK. 
Okay. Fan connector. Antennas. And another connector. Hmm, so in a bit. Okay, 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 okay. This screw may also want to come out. I don't know yet. And the battery, of course. Um, the board has never took out because we have a warranty sticker here. We're gonna destroy this warranty sticker. Well, we just put a little hole in it. So... Check, check. Interruption, sorry. We're taking the board out. We're still taking the board out. Our drive screw. Can we now lift that up? Sticker fell back, sticking. Let go. Evil. That is interesting. We're kind of. Do we have a hidden screw? Goes over to the other side. I don't think so, but something is holding us back. Is it the Wi Fi? No. What is it then? We can bend this over. Come on. What's the problem? Okay. There's something in the back. No. Looks like magic is holding us back. Am I stupid or? Okay. That connector is really annoying. Um, oh, come on. Come on, who are we? Lift it up, pull it out. Good. Now we have the board. This comes to the side. And now we're going to take a closer. We have some metal shield. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, that looks a bit burned here. Does it? Okay, someone really hard, tried really hard to charge it, no matter what the cost is. Or maybe it was a drop damage. Could also be. Okay, we can clearly see this is our issue. A lot of broken pins. And a little bit of toast. Uh, 
don't care about the plastic, but it kind of looks like a short was created. Question is, can we just move everything back in place and solder it back on? Or do we change the... Well, first of all, we get... This port has to come out, does it? I don't know. What do you think? We just repair it without taking it out? Let's have a look on the edge. On the edge. We... First, let me just first get rid of that solder paste. It's an AMD Ryzen. Good. Okay. Why are you not turning? You are. This looks perfectly fine. Does it move? Oh yeah. The kind of the, the plastic, the whole part moves. Maybe we can push it back together. I think we can manage to do that. Here we got lift up. Oh, that's that's a normal height. So here we are able to press this all back together. We just change out the shit here. Let's see if we have a connector. I think the better quality repair is if we just replace it. Let's see if we can find this part. Maybe, not really. No, the feet has to go down. Oops. Need something with down bent feet. That. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't have to be 100% the same. It kind of that's a strange looking port. Do not have so much of those. Mm. Slim. Too slim. Let's put it in the same box. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Let's zoom out a bit. That looks 
pride. And we need all pins apart. Not such a strange constellation like this. Is this also looks weird? Hmm. All just crappy ports. But this could be one. But we have plastic feet. And um, no, nothing that fits. Very sad. something in the smartphone section. Something like this. Mm, yes, no. Yeah. That one looks... Where is the center? Mm -hmm. That could work. It may not be perfect, but it could work. one one looks good hmm I think you are the winner got some plastic coating here but it's okay So in this case, it's the same as a Galaxy A51 charging port. So first we're going to prepare the make this fast, it shouldn't be a masterpiece. First we're going to add some we'll melt solder here. Turn on my solder iron. Hot air. Relax. And what else? Wire. I hope we didn't have created a short, but we can measure that when we put the port out. So 
Then we're going to take off that coating. Oops. Just like this. On. Go! Yeah, you're gonna fall off anyway, aren't you? Um, yeah, flux. I'm gonna thin these pads. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn back around because I do not want to cook it. We're gonna let it drop down. It should be possible. Three hundred eighty degrees. Let's start on the edge, and then on the other edge. Yeah, like this. So all pads are already tinned, which is good. So now we take the board. Also gonna tin it. It's on the edge, there's not much here that can happen. So We're gonna cook that port because we don't care about it.
here but plastic is not our concern he could put that back oh that was sorry interruption as uh, we have um here yeah. i think we have another missing pad yeah well let's just start cleaning Then we can have a look at it. We got left a little bit. Come on. No, doesn't want to. What? Give it all. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's enough. Is that enough? No. With a full space here. Okay, let's add some new. No melt. Soft knit. And suck it. Oh, well, good. Here we have still a little bit left, okay. Good. Also here we gotta add some slow melt. We do not want to rip pads. Good. Yeah, that's still good. And one missing pad we may need. So we're going to add a new pad so we can bridge this. Yeah, let's just clean it up first.
bought me these solder rods. Smiley, I think some of you may know them. It's the first time I'm gonna try this, so. Let's see what we got here. Some kind of shapes and forms. All just round. But, hmm. I don't know. I have two of those. Let's see for the other package. That's different forms. Not bits the same. Okay, let's see if we can. First, we have to prepare uh, this pad. And just scrape it a little bit. This and uh, retain it first. I don't know, I don't think so. So let's get one of those here. I'm supposed to get this out, just, just grab it. Okay. Just gonna grab it. You know, like this. You have to turn around. Nice. Small solder tip. Do solder. Clean it. And we're going to add some flux. Maybe we shall add some solder. Sure, this is working better. In position. All a bit flimsy and small, but this small anyway, so. Mm-hmm. Good. We shall also tin this pad. Good. Good. Then we're quite actually quite ready to repair this shall we put some uv 
crap on here. Mm, I think we should. Just a little bit. Okay, do V cure. Just a little toothpick. Right here for a couple of seconds. In the meanwhile, I'm going to clean up a little bit. So what should do? A little bit of scraping so we can make connection. That's good. Mm hmm Good. Now we're gonna add a little bit of solder. We're getting ready to place the new port. Mm. 
bit too much solder on the on the anchors. And get rid of that. Okay. Left port. Looking good. Here we have a bridge. Let's get rid of that before because I think we don't have to do much work afterwards. Mm-hmm. So we're going to put this up and then we're gonna throw in the port. So we lift this up. We'll take the front tweezers. Better handling like this. And we'll heat this up. Nothing. It's very good. Position is good, so you know, so the, the anchors. Oh, look at that shit. All the plastic. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Wrap everything in plastic. Except my body. Bit of a met mess, isn't it? A bit of a mess here. That's okay. Let's fill the holes. Shall we? Yes, we shall. See here on the downside as it sucks through. Way too shy. Plastic. Mm. We're going to mix the plastic with fresh melts. Trying not to breed. 
That stinks like hell. See that? The melt, the low melt solder, pushing the plastic out. Let's make it hot again. Cleaning. Good. Okay, doesn't it? I mean, they're probably not the same as an outrage fix, but well, I don't have the time for that. I could, you know. Good, that looks good. And uh, I'm gonna lift the back side up a bit, get a bit of view here, and see if we need to fix some stuff here. Oh, look at that. I'm making good connections here, really good. Let's just clean it a bit. So let's make a closer view. Punch them. And there's enough here. Look good. This is also good. Very good. That's nice. I like that. Could put something on there, but I don't think we need that. A little bit of crap here. But, well, a million times zoomed in, nobody cares. The main thing is, is it going to be relatively clean? And will it work? That's the stuff we need to care about. That's it. We have to make a restart to let the machine know everything is fine. Yes, you can charge. Let's just try that first. Power. Turning on, one amp. One point two. No boot device, I'm okay. We are definitely charging and we confirm that when we measure the battery voltage rising.
bit scary. That's all a bit scary, isn't it? I can feel the heat here. Doctors are charging up. 1.68. Four point seven, four point seven three. Oh, that's quick charging. Nineteen point eight volts and two point nine seven amps. Good. Once again, I mean you have to trust me, I mean you saw the battery goes up fast. Check, check, check the things, 2.96 amps. Okay, that's the end of the video. Huawei laptop. Model number. I can't read that. I'm going to put it in the description. Not today. So I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, give me some thumbs up. It's important. And maybe subscribe if you haven't. And we'll do something great in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.